his company, later McDonnell Douglas, developed the AH-64A Apache, known as the Advanced Attack Helicopter. The first Apache prototype flew on September 30, 1975, and the Army received the first production model in January of 1984. Initially, the AH-64s were powered by two widely separated General Electric T-700 engines capable of generating 1,536 horsepower each. The twin-engine system meant that the crew could return to base safely if one engine was knocked out, and the wide separation reduced the risk of both power plants being injured with a single shot. The Apache was armed with a chin-mounted 30-millimeter cannon carrying 1,200 rounds of ammunition. The wings could carry up to 76 2.75-inch folding fin aerial rockets or a combination of rockets and the new Hellfire missile. The improved Hellfire missile added in 1986 gave the Apache a stronger anti-tank punch than the earlier tow system. it was the modern target acquisition and flight control systems that made the Apache so much more effective than its predecessors. The AH-64 in many ways fills the bill that the Cheyenne was intended to fill, but it fills it 20 years later in time and it fills it after 20 years of progress and uh, target acquisition and flight control systems and uh, avionics and uh, even in materials. Using the three sensors located on the nose of the aircraft, the Apache could track a target through any type of conditions, including smoke. The target acquisition and designation site, or TADS, combined an infrared sensor with telescopic and daylight TV sites displaying either normal or wide fields of view, as well as night vision. The sophisticated flight control system meant that the Apache could fly nap of the earth at night over any type of terrain, even in the Grand Canyon. The AH-64 was designed with a number of countermeasures in order to avoid enemy fire. Exhaust from the engines was mixed with outside air drawn in through several different inlets, reducing the temperature of the exhaust from 1,065 degrees to less than 600 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature, the helicopter's infrared signature could not be detected by heat-seeking missiles. Electronic radar jamming equipment prevented anti-aircraft systems from locking on target. Chaff and flare dispensers could also be used when under direct attack. In addition, all of the Apache's components were built to withstand direct enemy fire. It's well armored and uh, it was designed to withstand hits. Uh, it's, it's very structured, it's built in, a, in many instances in a redundant fashion, so that it's much more uh, uh, invulnerable to ground fire than previous helicopters. Even the fuselage and the rotor blades are designed to withstand hits from up to 23 millimeter projectiles.